Holly here. Today I am back with another quick and easy way of putting together your travel scrapbook. So last time I shared with you how to put together a project lifestyle album, so a pocket scrapbooking album with your travel memories. Today I'm sharing with you an older travel scrapbook that I've made back in 2012. And this one is using a K and Company Smashbook. So Smashbooks are really cool because you can take them with you when you travel and they're just really simple, sort of like old school traditional scrapbooking might have been back before we got all fancy with all the different embellishments and stuff. So I will go through that in great detail to give you a look inside in a moment, but just to give you a quick idea. So that's how it's going to look inside. These you can get online and all the different embellishments that are in here, I will link in the comments of the video so that you can see where you can get them as well. And I hope you find yourself inspired to start getting your own travel memories documented as well. Since right now, when we can't travel a lot, this is a great time to get into your travel scrapbooking. Okay, everyone, have fun. Okay, so I've recently shared with you a video showing you how I did a travel album using a Project Lifestyle Pocket Scrapbook. This time I'm going to show you the inside of my Smashbook. So this is from an even earlier trip. This is from 2012 when we went to Tasmania on our baby moon. We were actually meant to go to China, but with morning sickness and everything else, we ended up in Tasmania instead. So we didn't go too far, but it was a really cool trip. So these Smashbooks are from K and, K and Company and you can get lots of different styles but you can also just use any hard covered notebook and make your own version these just make it a little bit quicker and easier so they give you instructions on how to use a smashbook as well and these pens are really cool that come with it it has a glue end and a pen end so you can stick in memorabilia and then you can write your journaling so again really really quick and easy all right so i've used this pocket style embellishment here and added in our itinerary for our trip and a few little notes and this is just a guidebook that I grabbed when we were at the airport I think I stuck in a few other little bits and pieces some postcards in there as well our uh, boarding passes and a map of Tasmania and then I put this little tab in here because I didn't use the entire Smash album for this. So I have got room to put in a future trip as well. Or go back and do one of my older trips since this is back from 2012. So it was quite a long time ago that I've made this. Okay, so again, just postcards and little snippets from travel magazines or brochures from when we were there. A little bit of journaling there. And then this one I've written just directly onto the page. Other little reminders from the things that we did while we were there. This one is a pocket. Oops, so what have I done? I'm stuck in one of the places we visit there. This came off of a beer that Simon must have had. And then I've used my embossing machine to add labels to say what day it is. Little bits of journaling. Again, I've chopped out something from the restaurant that we visited. And these are other places that we visited on that day as well. So day three, we went on a Tasman Island adventure cruise with Penacot Wilderness Journeys. That was amazing. It was one of my favorite things that we've done in Australia so far, and I recommend it to everyone. So this is a card. I think we actually got given these as part of our tour. So I've added the details inside the card. So it's like a flip open. It's almost like one of those, you know, surprise flip book style books instead so then I've just added in a few other little notes from the day as well and then on day three we also did Port Arthur which is directly over the road from where the cruise takes off and these cards were given to us at Port Arthur with our ticket the tickets themselves have faded so a good hint might be to actually go back and photograph these sorts of things or take a photocopy and then put the photocopied version in so that you don't lose the details and then I'll put this little pull tab in it's a little postcard and then I've written about our experience of visiting Port Arthur on the postcard itself so again this one's got a pocket uh, Strawn we didn't have nearly enough time in Strawn and it was winter so it was a lot of it was shut which was disappointing but added in these details here so that then at least when we visit next time 
it would be a better thing to do and also I got really really sick so the travel nightmare is my morning sickness which was not very nice at all when we arrived in Strawn quite a messy day <laughs> uh, Cradle Mountain again another day would have been perfect for Cradle Mountain but it was beautiful and somewhere I'd definitely love to stay again so I've turned this postcard into a pocket here to make it somewhere to put in that brochure and again using a postcard for a pocket oh these are stuck they must be meant to be stuck and then that's the resort we stayed at and the brochure from there and a little bit of the detail from our visit uh, and we went to Beaconsfield and the Platypus House while we're in Launceston as well and that's it so this book has heaps more room in it for future adventures and I have lots of embellishments left over from it or from my existing scrapbooking supplies as well. So it's a really quick and easy way to do your scrapbooking. This one's really good for when you're on the move as well. So I actually took this with us to Tasmania and I did a lot of this stuff on the day. So I'd get home for the evening and while I was winding down, probably resting from my horrible morning sickness, I went through and I'd stick in a fair few of these things with the glue stick and then just added these extra embellishments when I've gotten home. So that way we didn't forget anything. It was a really easy way of doing it. So they do make good travel journals on the road as well. And they're not too heavy. They have got some weight to them, but if you're doing a relatively short trip, they are a good option to take with you as you travel. So I hope you have enjoyed that look through in my travel smash journal and I'll share more videos like this soon. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed having a look inside my travel scrapbook, my smash book and that this gives you some great ideas to get started with your own travel scrapbooking journey. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, everyone, bye.